Hey everybody, VinBossman19 here. Welcome back to DDO. Today we are finishing up the Waterworks story arc with Ven's Trail and Ven's Fate. The strong smell of sewage permeates the air around. Which are and four. Uh, we you are hear level human voices up ahead. And I think we're two ranks in to level four or level five, maybe three. Uh, and then we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go east, and then we're gonna travel northeast. And this time you're in the tunnel warm segment of the waterworks. So we open up this. Yeah, guns are in trouble in here. Uh, and actually, there's a rare down here we can find if I'm the correct ability for the rune. Um, so you might notice that some gear set, that's actually because I actually have boots of feather falling out and have a cloak that I think is better than the mantle of gen. Okay, this is wisdom, so Mallory can do this one. That's what he's here for. So best store of the rust monster, I think he's up actually. Okay. Yeah, there's a rust monster that could spawn in there named Bistor. My door's open, so you'll be hearing some background noise for a little bit. Um, if we go this way, there's the ladder back up. So... Oh, okay. Um... I think when I went to close the door in episode 6, that could have went throughout the copyright claim, but that's just fucking dumb. Here, where actually there's a hidden door to where Cobalt Shaman Rare Har Har can spawn. Yeah, I'm not fucking joking, that's his name. And in this case, he is in here. Shaman Har Har, not true Shaman. There's his chest. So during the off, uh, off recording, I actually went and sold and cleared my inventory a little bit, bought and sell, or did some clearing. So, yeah, so mental Gentle Descent is no more. Oh, I think we got some wolves and cobalt up here. See, unlike, regu unlike black wolves, regular wolves cannot Up, you'll be seeing a new, uh, new mob for the, uh, mob you guys haven't seen in this series. The smell of rotten flesh pours from the other oh, side of the oh. door ahead. Uh, well, in this mob, sometimes it can be a named, uh, troll. Uh, Narkel is his name. So, trolls, their vulnerabilities are acid and... Okay, just had two bolts destroyed. Uh, so kobolds. I never tend to go for all the slayers, I just tend to go for all the rares and explorers of wildernesses. There is, however, actually one wilderness I'm going to stay away from, because that's not on my run. It is called the Restless Isles. Okay, so, okay. okay it's a level 4, so we are of level to do this. So part one of the of the tunnel one shouldn't take too long, except for these easy at the beginning. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. There's an oh, 
large radius. CR6 large radiuses. Um, I this is I fucking hate oozes. Like with they're like easily the worst mob to do on Uh not raised. There's some other things that you run into later on that can be pretty quick to kill kill you. Um In the center of the room. A grate okay. covers a shaft that disappears into the so depths of the sewers. So you see that chest down there? There's a straw that I need here, actually. Which this is something that the chest belongs to. Okay, so we're gonna clear out all, all the cobalt first. Okay, Slay Rysel. That's the troglodyte. And you can see Mel Master's chasing me. Dropping him. straight down this shaft would be deadly. Yeah. You see pipes intersecting it that might help break your fall. So that's Rysel dead. Um. That's a lot of stuff. Holy shit. Okay, so and then here's our levers. Oh fuck. I press E. That's one lever that opens up the gate that's up there as well as the gate that's underneath the red, uh, the yellow signal crystal. And it opens up that gate up there. Um, so if we go this way, we can go up here, up to the east. Uh, now if we go up, it spawns a bunch of kobolds, so be warned. Yeah, I think Sean is spawning behind us. <laughs> Shot up there. Okay. And then we just move through a stack of bolts just like that. I think two of them got destroyed when we were in the waterworks by uh, a cobalt shaman. Okay, there we go from here. Oh, I didn't see the bolts! Over here we can kill Krong the Brutal or kill XP1. This what I like about ogres is they do that and you can kill them really easily. Oh, hang on, what's that right there? And what? I opened the social by accident. Okay, so that's plus two as well. That's plus two. Damn it! Okay, we're gonna actually use Owl. Owl's Wisdom. Up the top, I think, is that that one? And Death Ward? Oh, did we? Because that doesn't matter. Okay, so Death Ward. So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go to the south first. Uh, I'm not alarmed. There are a bunch of cobalt in here. Let's see? I think a lot of them are just warriors. There's a top of Shaman at the top. Um, I might actually... So, yeah, like when I recorded episodes, when I recorded episodes 20 and 21 yesterday, um, I think I recorded 22 yesterday, I'm not really sure. Um, so episode 10, or episode 9 just went up on YouTube. Um, by the time I'm recording this, uh, by the time I'm recording this too, I will probably. Oh. Anyway, uh, episode ten will also probably be up, and I think tomorrow, which is as of right now, I'm recording it December twelfth. Um, and it's December thirteenth, twenty twenty one. So. Tomorrow, episode 11 and 12 will go up. That's that is on the I just have to be stupid and upload the three more. Um, yeah, I don't like upload these the instant I record them. I, I usually wait a little while. Whoa! Hello! No shot! Let's 
So that's a blue signal crystal. That's another blue signal crystal. Okay, so later on in this playthrough will probably be when I like get very, very difficult and possibly close to dying a lot, because there's later on like where mobs I think we all hate start coming into the play. From the plane of madness. Um so now we're going north um to another area. Um, after we finish these videos, this will com after we finish these quests, it will complete what we needed to do in the harbor. And a bunch of I think two uses dropped down when you walk through the first time. I think the second time is only one. Okay, now we go here. Acid. Okay, now we pull this out. There's three valve filters on the cluster to pull. Let's turn off the, all the acid. And dying here, so please be careful. Okay, we're not going on that other side to see where that chest is because that is a complete waste of time. You have to like com completely get someone to open the door. It's a two people job. I only hold my own. So heal myself and no master there. Okay, now we go back to the tunnel where we will be greeted by an ooze, most likely. Now, I I will have to eat in one moment here, so I'll just two minutes. Now we go. Just break a little bit. See, the reason why I'm not... The reason why I'm not doing that optional is because, um, two... If you go there, kobolds will spawn, like, rapidly if you go into there and open that chest. Okay, so now we go down the shaft. Okay, and then we can go to the right here. There's some sort of cobalt and they can be our top priority. I think all the fucking slingers here. So much wrong with that shame. There's another shame with that. Like most games where you kill stuff, um, unlike most games where you kill monsters, um, in this game they actually can disappear after a while of them being dead. I never actually did explain what that was. That just makes it so the game won't lag really hard. Like, you've noticed, like, in some videos where the game would, like, lag insanely and then be really smooth in other. That's from physics of other things move oh, these couple of zaps. Okay, kill these things and then we move on. So then we go, go around this corner. There's a shrine, but there's also some spiders. Okay, one was level one, the other was level two for some reason. I think one was listed as a small, the other was listed as a regular. Okay, and then we go here. Some hobgoblins up here. Yeah. Hobgoblin destruction. Now, if there is a second hobgoblin over here called a hobgoblin and missing there, where that guy lives, uh, there will be a second chest here in this case. I'm not gonna get, get that cloak. I just have to be careful because my inventory, I think, is already almost full again. Oh no, we're good. Okay, so now as we continue on, we are gonna go this way. You notice recognizable letters among the scratches on the wall. They read Chief Jitix Room. Whoa, I didn't even see those guys coming in. So, boss, did you get dead? I'm sure you make me get dead. Okay, so that's all. Okay, and then I think 
think this is the one that has treasure in it. Yeah, I think all we got was a bow. And then we go in this, open this one. This is the password to Jitik's prison. This lever opens that door that's down here. Okay. And this completes the quest. We will be getting 3,000 XPs for this. Holy oh, shit, that's a lot. Okay, then we enter Ven's fate. Which is the final part of this chain. However, if there's a fate cut, a faint cut at the start, um, I will have be eating food, and that'll be why I cut at some point. Okay, so you can go either way. So we're looking for Ven Arkarn, the corpse. The breakable bonus doesn't really matter. In this there's also a tunnel worn bronze shaman that you can kill. And there's an ogre. Uh, there's like one ability of three, like one of three chances you get a named ogre in this quest. That one didn't appear, it was just a regular ogre. Okay. Uh. Okay, he's not in there. You can just look in the cell. You don't have to like open them. Okay, here is a prison room for some optional XP. Okay, you're free now. Sometimes you can get two of them back to back. I think this is Van Arkham. No, it's not. Open up this door. Cool implements of torture are scattered around this door. of my guild just logged on. So if there is like at some point where I am doing R1 missions with group, oh there's another prisoner, with uh, guildies, you'll know why. So here's the guy. I didn't see that guy when I uh, got here. Yeah, there's kobolds over here. What would you, what would you exterminate or two? What would you really that boss Here's the Grand Chain door over here. Okay, here's a prisoner. I think you get, like, there's... Uh, Venar Karin can be anywhere. So if he's outside this room and you kill the interrogator, uh, that completes the quest. Shamanic-looking kobold freaks nonsense on the the beside a proven altar to his beautiful god. I don't know why he's a grand shame, but it makes him so grand, you know what I mean? So that'll put it... Meltmaster! What the hell, man? Be useful, you're not hostile from Konosuga. These fucking bolts, okay. Eyelashes of Gamma Radek, we don't need those because we are not a sorcerer or any class like that. We are an artificer. So... Not, not the best class to choose, especially if you're running... Oh, here's one of two more prisoners that we need. Oh, and there's the other guy. Look at that. So... All the bedraggled prisoners. And I think Van Arkarn's over here. You hear the cold oh, scraping of bones be back, against Be bread. back shortly, people. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um... I'm dead. Three 
doorways here. There's one here. We'll just take us down here. Now we look. In cells for Van Arkari, who we were supposed to come get to complete the quest. Now there can be kobolds on the corner. There's an optional down there, but we're just not going to do it. Can I just go for a swing of those directly in the ground? Uh, oh, here he is. Um, can kill you guys first. Because if you go to Mexico, there's a chance of a huge ogre appearing in here. And it is an ogre. And I guess we'll go get Ben and complete the quest. Better car is quest. Cool. Okay, so this must be better card. He's been dead for several days looking closer. You know strange sense of regular writer brown marks on his corpse. We move fence while you investigate marks a more closely. Ben's corpse shift revealing more stab wound in his gut as he died. He tried to smear out the last message in his own blood. The only words he can make out are SEAL OF Chantelcore! Okay, so that's a... That's a major spoiler there. That's a chain that we're doing later on in the series is a, a chain called the Seal of Chanticore. So... That completes the Waterworks story arc. We're actually going to go look for these four rares that we need. Back to get our so, I think we're really full rank to roll five at this speed. Get just hidden door here. Where a crew can spawn. Nope. So then he can might spawn in this other place than by the reward place. I just thought I'd do the fireworks for fun in today's videos. Um. Oh, okay. I got the cold and two. I got the wolves. There's a spider. Cold and Five cold. And flesh pours from the other side of the door ahead. So, you might notice there will still be 20 minute long videos as we continue on in this series. There will be a lot less of them, unless I don't know what I'm doing and just forget altogether. Um, The shortest one I think I've uploaded so far is Dirk, the Dirk's Got a Secret video, which was, uh, like, I think nine minutes. So that's why I did, um, Covering the Lost Home and an explosive situation in one video. Um, this is a Wiz Ruin, so... Yeah, like, we're nearly level 5. We're nearly level 6 and we're not even level 5 yet. Um... Can we get Malorin to pick this room? As he comes along, as he comes along... Best store up! He is... Got 608 XP, may that bus rest in peace because it retired in the summer. So, I'm gonna level up to 5 off screen and then we start on the marketplace quests. 
in the next video. So, um, if I re if I find Dalek again, I'm not just I'm not that dumb. You just got Nasty Shane Har Har and Dalek so far. The only reason why I didn't go all, all seven rares in the Cerulean Hills was because that could take a while. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. I think that was like one of the very first builder in the spikes. One of my first yeah, one time one time This game had so many like three gun variants. Like back when the game first released in 2006, it was known as um, Dungeons and Dragons Online Storm Rage. But so much has been added to the game and renamed it to just Dungeons and Dragons Online Eberron. The home. Now we're gonna go down here. In hopes of finding uh, Yaeli. Or Yaeli, I don't know how you say it. Uh, he can be in here. He is in here! Let's see the text. Some XP. That's Yaeli, the cold shaman. Tomorrow shaman. How are we doing for inventory space? Okay, I might need to do some clearing off screen before we go to the marketplace. So, I have been in the marketplace. Like, you notice, like, I've, I've been in the marketplace for, like, one second of a video. That's because I, like, that's where I go to buy hirelings now, so... I'm not just in the harbor buying anymore, because those are the cheap hirelings. Wolves! Wolves! I don't like wolves! So... Okay, and then we come around here with some wolves. The only time I've ever go out with the bears in this place is like 400 in these. Up to 119 so far. Oh, okay, we don't need to go in there because Yaeli already got killed. Uh, we we'll go over here. Kill this guy. Why was the sound effect so distorted? Eat room. Yes. Okay. So that's four rares out of six in here. I might just do a quest reset to do the last two off camera. And we go over here to guard camera again to get our quest reward. Sorry for wasting your time. So any good artificer stuff? No rune arm? No rune arm? What the fuck? Helm of listening. Uh, so that completes uh, Lost Seekers. We're going to recall all the waterworks. Next video, we will be heading to the marketplace to start whatever needs to be done there. There's actually three chains we can do in the marketplace, and there's two. With that, we're going to. Oh, there's one more reward for us. And Harbor Masters in here. Wow, still no green one. Also, oh my god. Yeah, we'll get that, definitely. Let me get that necklace on. Green uh, one. And that'll do it. Peace, people.